Hi guys, this is too fanatical for you here again. Uh, this is the fourth part of my Broke to Rich series. And in this episode, we're gonna finally start doing some heists and earning some money. There's a couple things we kinda have to do first. For heists, we have to buy the heavy utility vest. Probably many people know this, but not all, all the people know that you can actually buy a utility vest. And basically what the heavy utility vest does is it basically reduces the incoming damage you receive. And also the bulletproof helmet helps too. So we're gonna buy them two things now. And probably we'll sell a car first, by the way. That is kind of a disadvantage with that heavy utility vest at least. Um, you will be not able to run, but apparently it's still more beneficial to get the vest instead of not having it at all. I guess you're gonna this grab a car now, gonna sell the car in Los Santos Customs. Then we will buy the utility vest, the helmet, we'll maybe get some snacks and probably it's best to check if we can get some sort of uh, body armor as well. So we're actually at 467,000 now. Yeah, I kind of spent some money on upgrades with the podium cars. Between the last episode and this episode, by the way, I won the podium car. This week's one, I mean. The Pegasi to Torero. Okay, I can't be asked. You can probably find a better car to sell. Okay, then let's go to first uh, clothing shop. You can buy the helmet and um, the vest in that clo any clothing shop, basically. Yeah, that's that's the ones. Bulletproof helmets. I will go with the standard black one. That's 20,000, by the way, but it'll pay off eventually. So that's the heavy utility vest here. Definitely want the heavy utility vest. Not much of a choice here, black, grey, obviously you're gonna go with uh, black. There you go. Right, by the way you can probably buy an outfit. Let's just check we have like outfits. And edit saved outfits, so we're gonna save one or first outfit, so... Iced. Right guys, so we're fully equipped, let's go to our apartment and start our first heist. That's gonna be the Fleeka heist, he only needs two people by the way, so you can uh, do it with a random or with one friend. So in this case my friend's gonna help me, so that's gonna be probably a lot better than doing it with some random guy. Because there's loads of, loads of bad randoms around, so be prepared. Right, um, just have to find where's the haste room in this apartment. Yep, found it. So press Q to quickly join as a haste crew member. No, we want to actually do a heist. Oh yeah, right, so, okay, abandon the plan. We have to meet Lester to start this haste. So let's go see Lester. Hey guys, this is Lester's warehouse. Right, so Lester says he'll be he'll be in touch. If cops are chasing you, you can simply phone Lester and get rid of them. But I think it unlocks with something like level 20. And I am at level 17, so probably it's not unlocked yet. Right, okay, so seems like we still have to wait for him to call me. this thing. If you want the work, you'll get a knock on your door any minute. Right, so okay, now now he decided to call me. Right, back in the apartment. <laughs> oh, okay, so the character goes straight into heist room. Hastes can be planned. Yep. Yeah. 
Right, press E to start haste the leader, yep. Alright, so, difficulty, we will go hard. Weapons, whatever, double action revolver, pistol, that's my best weapon. <laughs> Purchase all ammo, yep. Standard armor, yep. Camera lock, we don't want that. So, I guess confirm settings on this. Right, so matchmaking closed because I want to invite my friend. Yep, so invite sent. Right, guys, we're ready. Let's play. Ah, uh -huh. yes, yes, this will uh, do very nicely. Okay, so we're gonna go and check something out with Lester here. Alright, so we're gonna scope out the bank, we're gonna check where, where's what. Right, so almost missed. That's there it the is. Bank. Take a look. Drink it in. I've patched into their security feed on myself. Take a look. Hmm, what are we looking at? Um, small joint, not much security. Staff won't give a crap, <laughs> especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind the safe door. We want box number 167. Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you. You can get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Speed up their response time. Okay? Okay. Enough of this peeper crap. Let's go to the garment factory. Right, that's all, all we had to do. So basically back to the factory. Now, when you hit the bank, First you're prep will be done. System. So what Lester just said, they sent uh, like a mini game to my friend's phone. He has to sort of get familiar with that program. It's like a little hack you have to do. Meet you. Right, so first part done. Second one, we need some masks, some equipment for the heist. So... <laughs> and a hard-on out to here. Well, we're not getting caught. These are professionals. She's just a little brusque. Oh, even an achievement unlocked. Be prepared. Nice, level 18. Right, so we'll be down to our next job. Basically, we have to steal the getaway car. And there's gonna be quite quite big shootout. Also, it says that since I'm the leader, I'll have to pay a bit more for the setup. So you have to take in account setup costs as well. So when you will divide the payout, as, as a leader, you should take a little bit more percentage than any one of any one of your crew members basically yeah we will set the heist clothing as player saved outfits because we have saved an outfit with that um, super heavy what's it called super heavy vest right here you can choose the vehicle that you want to do the heist in if you have armored car this is the place to choose it so basically my friend has an armored Kuruma, so we gonna use that car, but you can just use whichever car you want, but I would strongly advise obviously to use an armored car, but since I believe most of you will be new players and you will not have an armored car, you will just simply have to do a bit of hiding behind cars to shoot them all, all gang members there. Right, so we have our helmet, our vest, and everything else is just cosmetic. It doesn't help anyhow. You can even go in your like underpants. Yep, let's mark. Hello, can you hear me? That's I'll where we wanna go. Right, so all the gang members they'll be on top of that parking lot. So when you approach them you kinda have to slow down on the last level just before the ramp. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, we, we went up that ramp. So if you don't have an armor card, best to use the other ramp. You can imagine how kind of difficult this would be with just a pistol standing somewhere. Nice. Let's take a copy of this car. <laughs> right, so all we have to do is take the car back. And then we're ready to rob the bank. The streets will be full of NPCs basically trying to ram you off, off the road. Wow, that was nice headshot. Right guys, so that's all the setup. So now we can go back to the apartment and start the haste. Right guys, as you can see the cut is 60-40, we will be keeping that somewhere around that. So you want to take a bit more as a leader because you have to pay for the setup and I believe it was like 11,000 for the setup. Right guys, have to go back to the factory, pick up the Kuruma. Right, seems like I'm the passenger. Right, so I have to hack this thing. Let's try, can we use the arrow keys on the keyboard? I used it to change the signal, press, press, da, ba, ba, ba. Yep, we can. So there's going to be like three of these to complete. Right, nice, first one done. Okay, next one. Right, second one done. Nice job done. To do the fun part, the drilling. Hmm. Let's press G. My friend has to shoot out the cameras, but I have to start drilling. Right, let's drill. So, also, my friend has to. Oh, snap overheated so my friend had to kind of shoot over the heads of hostages so they would be like intimidated right cool job done luckily we're not worried about time we're not doing the elite challenge Let's go back to the car. Right, so that was the last third roadblock and now we'll be picked up by a helicopter with a magnet. You'll just have to slow down a little bit underneath the magnet. And it should be good. That's 
that's the end of the heist. So as easy as that, but obviously the first heist is the easiest. So let's see how much we're gonna get. We should be getting an extra 100k for the first time completion. Nice, another achievement. Yeah, we're like three minutes over. Oh, at least this, nice. 4% damage, incomplete. Yeah, if we would have done this three minutes earlier, we would have had a little bit of a bonus as well. So total cash earned, 186,000. And a level up as well, nice, 19. Yeah, nice, so fleek job completed. So also the fleek job, if you complete, it unlocks the trade price for Kuruma, otherwise it costs 700k. And the trade price is about 500k now. So as soon as we will have some spare cash, we will definitely be buying this car. It's super useful car, comes in handy in many heists and jobs and missions and all sorts. Right, so 600k. And let me quickly show you Kuruma's price now. Yeah, okay, so 525,000. We could afford one now, but it would be a massive waste of money because we are now trying to save money for the maze bank. And as soon as we will have the maze bank... Let, okay, one second guys, less than once me again. Fine, fucks. <laughs> oh, you'll sleep well tonight. We all will. Enjoy the spoils while you can. I'll be back in touch if there's more work down the road. Right, so Lester will be back in touch with us later on. And so now, anyways, guys, leave some likes. Uh, if you're new to the channel, then definitely subscribe. I'll probably end the video here, as it is a bit long now. And just stick around for the next part. We'll do the next heist as well. See how it goes. Right, bye.